what's up YouTube thought I'd show you guys my new toolbox it's a 54 inch snap on uh, the in between the elite and the base model can't remember exactly what series it is but it's not the low end it's the mid end uh, it's got a top hutch and the uh, electric side cabinet uh, I'll just show you the inside the hutch I got a good uh, work area. It's got the uh, bed liner top instead of the uh, stainless steel. I like the look of the bed liner top better. I kind of wish the back was bed lined, but that wouldn't be typically too difficult to change out if I wanted to and bed line it. I guess it doesn't look that difficult to take out, but I don't really come and live with it. It's got the light in it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my, the wiring for it. Uh, this was a display model. The only thing it's got, it's got a few dings up the center here. And, uh, yeah, that's the only thing really wrong with it. I had a door from the other toolbox I set in, beside it on the truck hit it. Yeah, got a substantial discount on this box because uh, they were wanting to revamp the truck. So, this is it. Uh, having a key it to one lock for doing that free of charge, which is pretty awesome. So it's currently all three different now. Like I said, top hutch. My favorite thing about this cabinet, kind of what sold me on it. I'm not particularly a blue fan, but for the price, I couldn't go wrong. I'd have preferred an orange one. This is the uh, thing that sold me on it. This is with mine loaded. I seen one seen one on the truck that had all of the tools in it too. And uh, yeah, it was pretty sweet, kind of sold me. I got room for an angle drill if I want one down there. Another angle tool, got room for three. I might put some air tools in those. I like some angle grinders and stuff, but I got my three batteries, got room for a Dremel, I got my heat gun down there. Room for angle grinder, electric uh, on my Milwaukee. 18 volt stuff got my two chargers down there i may even look into some smaller uh what is their 12 volt yeah they're in 12 stuff so yeah i'll leave my battery on this one because this is my 3 gun i use it pretty much every day so i'm just leaving my battery on it my half inch impact my uh half inch drill and my quarter inch nut driver or is it impact driver not nut driver my little quarter inch impact driver uh, of course it's got the power in it it's got a, the uh, power rail right there so i can charge my battery which is awesome nothing's plugged in right now i gotta get power over here so the closest plug-ins over there so yeah the shop's really not wired to be a shop but uh yeah these awesomely humongously large drawers this is kind of empty of course I'm gonna get different hatchets and stuff fill this up but I got my basic stuff in here because I also got my roll around tool cart that I use for my day-to-day -day stuff mostly and whatever I don't have like my torque wrenches and stuff here these are just uh, cheapo Harbor Freight torque wrenches but good a uh, good set of snap-on wobble extensions love these I use the hell out of the uh, Pittsburgh Harbor Freight wobble extensions these are about 10 times better than them. They are pricey, but they are a nice, real nice uh, set of extensions. Of course, a metric over here. Like I said, standard over here. Got uh, some wobbles there. Got a three drawer Craftsman toolbox. The little ones that you can put in like your truck and stuff. Took all the drawers out and I kind of laid it out like this. This is gonna change, I think. I'm gonna get rails for all this stuff. And uh, maybe, kind of step away from using that tool cart have all the, having all the tools in there and kind of move them over to this area and I'm making this kind of more of a center kind of thing I got lithium grease all over this drawer apparently I'm gonna clean it off she's a little dusty but Shop's gonna get dusty, so I didn't even have them wipe it down for me because they offered. I said nope. I said it's gonna get dusty here, so I pretty much got all my uh, tools moved over. 
I'm kind of short in my wrench department. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be investing in some more wrenches. I'd love these snap-on gear wrenches. I think these are better than gear wrench. And like I said, I got gear wrench wobbles. These have much better, more fine click to them. I like the feel of them, a lot thinner head than a gear wrench. I guess this ain't a good comparison because that's 17. This is a 14. So here, let me take it to a 14 to show you the comparison there. Yeah, so a lot smaller head. And the wobbles are a little bit bigger heads too than the regular. But even comparing it to a 14 Craftsman gear wrench, yeah, a lot smaller. They even got the flag drive plus in the end. And a lot of people say that's overhyped. That actually does help a lot. Uh, I'm not a snap-on rep or anything, but I think you spend money on good tools. They are worth it, spending the money. Like I said, I'm going to get them a standard, a standard set of those because I do work on enough old stuff. Got some cheapo uh, crow's foots, crow's feet, I guess. Got some uh, midget wrench set. These wrenches also came in that toolbox kit, so that's why I got them. They might get traded out for a set of snap on uh, standards. Come down a drawer. Got my hammers, punches, picks, and pry bars. Uh, axle popper set. If you uh, work on a lot of ATVs, Polaris, you don't probably want to invest in this tool. This helps me get drive axles out to place boots. Takes a lot of the fuss out of it. My big 58 ounce Matco uh, dead blow, and I got a 48 ounce snap on. Hey, what side? What, what is this one? 32 ounce, then a 24 ounce snap on, then a cheapo that I literally blew the end out of because I use the hell out of that one because I don't like using my expensive stuff if I don't have to. And that one was hanging on the edge of my tool cart, and it's probably going to go back there. Actually, perfect. So, yeah, got some picks there. We'll go ahead and move the picks over there now. I'm gonna get some shorter ones. Them were on sale, that's why I bought those a long time ago. Got some cheap uh, alignment bars from Harbor Freight, also. They're cheap. Also, they're ball team hammer set. You can't go wrong with that set. I've abused them, thanks. They're good hammers. I ain't got nothing bad to say about them. Maybe someday I'll get some uh, better snap-on or a Matco style. Maybe some Cornwells, it all depends. Uh, snap-on punches and chisel set. Good set. I ain't really got much to say about it. If you need chisels or a good chisel set. I mean, you can buy cheap ones too. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Good uh, snap-on pro bar set. Gonna get a few longer ones, I think. A screwdriver drawer. That's empty. Uh, it's gonna be a screwdriver drawer. I gotta get some good screwdrivers yet. I had a bunch of cheap ones. I just left them in that because I don't want to waste space putting junk in here, even though this has got a lot of junk in it. My vice grip set, uh, Pittsburgh hose pliers. This is my plier drawer, obviously. Uh, Pittsburgh hose pliers. These, for the price, awesome tools if you deal with hoses on older vehicles and whatnot. Great purchase. Got the Cornwell flyer set. Got uh, the angles and all that. Got the uh, rib flyers. Uh, yeah, I got some husky stuff in here too. Definitely going to be investing in the snap-on side angle flyers. That's what I want to put in here and hope kind of clean this clutter up because it's pretty cluttered. Got my snap-on three-piece back there. Got some snap on snap ring pliers. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. You're already done. My Torx drawer. Got a Craftsman Torx bit set. Love this set. Very nice set. Ratchet junk. Uh, big fan of the ratchets. Got some, what are these? Tekken, Tekken, Timken. Something I can't even remember the name, but uh, they're Amazon specials. These are nice. I've used them. 
I've not really abused them, so I can't tell you how they hold up under being abused heavily. Probably not very well, but they've done pretty good for what I've used them for. Uh, Pittsburgh Allens, you know, they work. Pittsburgh's uh, Torx T handles, like them. Some uh, more cheap impact style uh, uh, Torx snap on Torx screwdrivers set. That's a nice set, too, by the way. It's probably facing the wrong way. I probably should turn around the other way because I do use the smaller sizes more. So, but yeah, that's that door. Down here, miscellaneous, as you guys can see, the scratches. I could buy these and fix them, but they're not even level anyways, so now they are. But yeah, I can buy them pieces and fix them if I really wanted to. But uh, yeah, this is more like a specialty tool drawer, so I'm going to use it for. This drawer has nothing in it, except the slider I moved down from a drawer above. Uh, this will probably be impacts, air impacts, air tools, all that stuff in that drawer. Electrical drawer. This is my basic electrical drawer. This is probably going to grow to, so, it's your basic electrical tools. My favorite tools is the, uh, I guess I can bring it out here. I'll show you, this is a power probe butane solder kit. One of my favorite tools that I got in my electrical drawer thing along with the little torch awesome tools another pair of uh, dikes uh, snap-on dikes they're orange handled crimpers a little bit of rust we need to do a little clean them up a little bit uh, OTC angled crimper tool comes in handy and tight to reach places Matco Tools, strippers, very nice pair, very inexpensive, cheap pair of Amazon ratchet crimpers. Love these things. Go ahead and put them up this way. And a pair of Pittsburgh wire, uh, heavy gauge wire cutters, very nice. Of course, pin tools, tape, solder, uh, tested tape, 3M tape, different stuff there. Keep that kind of handy because I mask off a lot of stuff. Or label a lot of wires, so that's why the 3M tape's in there. A uh, three-piece set of the mini Matco strippers, crimpers, and cutters. Uh, Cornwell digital uh, test light. As you guys can see, I don't have a multimeter here. I've been using the guys I work with's multimeter. I need to invest in a really good one. I uh, haven't done yet yet. This drawer, paperwork, and uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I think I've gone over every door, yeah. I said I'm recording up. Yeah. They don't have my odds and ends. Got some uh, trays on my old box. Here's my old box, my old US General box. Uh, I got these, I'll probably put in there. Put stuff up, gotta clean my top out. This is empty now. I traded this in. They gave me a good, good, good deal on this. Uh, trading this in, so that's kind of, what I went to. Oh yes, one of the most sport things in the shop. <laughs> Hasn't been used, a little dusty. Got my snap-on cup holder. Looks like a, looks like a uh, three-quarter socket. I think it's even got a three-quarter socket part number on it. A little dirty. Pull that and throw. Clean it off again. It's still dirty. Go ahead and throw it up here in the corner. Perfect. Right up there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and boogie, get out of here. People say boogie anymore, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Totally gonna have to pop them off and glue them down. I hate them that slide around like that, but yeah. It's blue with the uh, chrome trim and the big snap-on logo. I kinda like it. Probably gonna peel off the uh, registered trademark logo because that don't look cool. Uh, these are made in Algona, Iowa, too, uh, if you guys didn't know. The only thing that's made outside of uh, the United States are the casters, and oddly enough, their logo. 
So yeah, all this is assembled and built in Ohio. This box was, it says right on the back. That's part of the main reason I went with the Snap-on box. Because they're made in my home state. And uh, yeah, I like keeping it local as possible. And uh, yeah, they're a pricey box, but this being a display model and what I paid for it, this is a good. This was a good deal. This is this toolbox. Hopefully, last me the rest of my career and hopefully a lifetime. Uh, I'll probably eventually grow out of it, but if I'm lucky, they'll still make this color and I'll be able to uh, get a different uh, be add add on to it if I wanted to add another hutch to it or something. I could. I'd like to add a whole side cabinet put uh, bigger specialty tools and stuff and such in it and uh, yeah so uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video hope you like uh, my new toolbox and the toolbox tour before I get it all dirty and it's already showing fingerprints like crazy might as well engage the brake yeah gonna go have to get some wiring stuff to wire it all up so We'll catch you guys in the next video, and uh, have a good day. See ya.